spiritual malady, spiritual solution, spiritual program. What's up with all this spiritual stuff? What does it all mean? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I got a good feeling. You felt the same way that I did when I first came into the room. You know, I would hear from people that I loved, people that cared about me. They'd tell me, Earl, you're a great guy. You could really go some places, man. You could be anything you want. You could do anything you want, go anywhere you want, if you just quit drinking. And I have to say, I was on board with that. I had a drinking problem. And I think a lot of us come into the program with that, that mindset. I've come to AA to quit drinking and, and become the normal person that I am without alcohol. Other than the fact that I drink, I'm perfectly normal. Well, that's a misconception. I'm not completely normal. I'm an alcoholic. The effect produced by alcohol on me. First of all, I get relief from who I am without alcohol. <laughs> and it makes me want more. Normal person? Ask a normal person. What kind of effect do you get from alcohol? They'll give you a completely different answer than that. So, the malady that I suffer from is a spiritual malady. It's inside my spirit. Now that doesn't mean that there's not physical abnormalities as well, because there are. I'm not gonna touch on that so much today, but I am gonna touch on the spiritual malady itself, as well as a spiritual solution. The idea behind a spiritual malady there's no pill that I can take to fix a spiritual malady. It's not a physical malady. So there's not like certain foods that I can eat to get over this. No. It needs a spiritual solution. Now, you know, that's one of those areas in early recovery that's hard to swallow. I know it was for me. I was like, look, man, you know, I know you guys have got all these steps that you take and, you know, you're diving into your head and all of that kind of stuff and, you know, going over the past. I don't need that stuff. I just want to quit drinking because other than the fact that I drink too much, I'm a normal person. That was my mindset. For this alcoholic, it took multiple relapses to finally come to the conclusion that I was different than other people. Those multiple relapses showed me just how progressive the illness is. I found that alcoholism is definitely progressive, but so are the consequences of my drinking. Extremely progressive. So of course I had to experience a lot of pain. I had to experience a lot of consequences before I finally came to the conclusion that it is a spiritual malady and it requires a spiritual solution. So what is the spiritual solution? Well, let's just take the first three steps, first of all. Uh, <laughs> I was running the show for a long time, and the show didn't come off too well. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, in step one, I realized that the guy that's been managing my life He's not doing a very good job. And he needs to be fired. I need to fire my manager and also admit that I'm powerless over alcohol. Now, what does that mean, powerless over alcohol? 
I'm powerless over what alcohol does to me. I'm not powerless over alcohol sitting in a glass over there or in a bottle or in a bowl or whatever. I'm not powerless over that alcohol. When I put it inside me, I'm completely powerless over what it does to me. I am powerless over alcohol and my life is unmanageable because I'm the one managing it. So I fire my manager. Now I'm just <laughs> I'm like a loose cannon, right? No, because we go on to step two, where we come to believe that a power greater than ourselves can restore us to sanity. Sanity, soundness of mind, I believe that there's some spirituality in sanity as well. I think it's important that, that we're on a, a good spiritual plane to experience sanity. So anyway, in step two, we come to believe in a power greater than ourselves that can restore us to sanity. So, think of it as shopping for a new manager. <laughs> and in step three, we hire the new manager. He's in control of the whole thing. We asked his protection and care with complete abandon. So we take the first three steps and we break them down into very uh, basic terminology. I can't, he can, now I'm gonna let him. I can't, he can, and now I'm gonna let him. That is very spiritual. It's stepping out of the way, giving God control of my life. And God has a much better track record at managing lives than I do. So the process of the 12 steps, in step 12, after going through all the steps, it says, having had a spiritual awakening, as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to other alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. <laughs> if all I had done was put the plug in the jug, I don't know. I might have become a better person somewhat. But this has changed my spirit. I've had a spiritual awakening. I have a spiritual solution to my spiritual malady. When you fully understand that drinking is not so much the problem as why we drank. We drank for that relief from that tainted spirit. My spirit is alive today. It's been awakened. So there's so much more to this than just quitting drinking. And I can understand a newcomer listening to this would be like, I don't need all that. All I need is to put the plug in the freaking jug so that I can become a normal person again. Well, if you're alcoholic like I am, that day will never come because <laughs> you're not normal. If you're alcoholic, you have a spiritual malady and it requires a spiritual solution. The only solution for that that I have found are the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. I truly believe that God brought me to AA and then AA gently brought me back to God. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not a Bible thumper or anything like that, although I'm, I'm pretty knowledgeable only because of my upbringing. Certainly no expert. And I don't try to evangelize or uh, anything like that. However, if you're suffering from a spiritual malady, I can tell you how I found the solution. 
and I found the solution through the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. Alcoholics Anonymous not only helped me put the plug in the jug, that was the easy part. Becoming comfortable in my own skin, comfortable in society, comfortable in general, comfortable in my spirit, with God and the people around me. That's what AA did for me. So much more than just quitting drinking. So I have experienced a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps. If I had just put the plug in the jug, would I be happy, joyous, and free? I certainly wouldn't have this YouTube channel. I certainly wouldn't be trying to spread the good news of what AA can do for you. And today, I am what I am, and I'm happy with what I am. This life has so much to offer. It really does. And you know, I was ripping myself off, man. For years, I was ripping myself off. I enjoy life today. I relish in every moment of my life. Those moments that aren't so wonderful, there's lessons to be learned in there. And those times that are wonderful, fantastic. Fantastic memories. Take a look at that sky. Huh? Kind of cloudy, but pretty. If you have not had a spiritual awakening, if you've not had the spiritual experience, then more than likely you still have the spiritual malady. Maybe you put the drink down. Maybe you haven't drank in years. But if you haven't taken the steps, you have not addressed the spiritual malady. And you'll find yourself being restless, irritable, and discontented. I'm as far as I've ever been from being restless, irritable, and discontented. I'm extremely content with the life that I have. You know, it's a combination of things, but I have addressed the spiritual malady by taking the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. I don't think I'm talking out of turn when I say that there are people who've gotten sober in AA that have never taken the 12 steps. What a shame. What a shame. I say if you want to feel better, do the steps, man. Do the steps. That's what's going to improve your life. Not just putting the drink down. Yeah, that might make some things better. You know, you'll stop going to jail maybe. Maybe. I don't know. The point is, is that today, when I look in the mirror, I like the guy that's looking back at me. And I couldn't say that before. I encourage you guys to get a sponsor and just stay on him. Stay on that sponsor to bring you through the steps. It's not his job to motivate you. Alcohol should be motivating you. But experience the life that God has for you. And the only way that I know of to experience all the joys that God has in store for us <laughs> is to fix the spiritual malady. And the only way I can do that is with a spiritual solution. So, you can take the elevator all the way down, but you gotta take the steps back up out of there. <laughs> you guys have a great day, and I can't wait to see you again the next time. Bye-bye. Turtle track.
Aren't those beautiful tracks from the turtles? They're awesome.